All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings, Shalom, to the hopeful elect out there. I'm going to uh, kind of get into this real quick, man. Uh, just was heavy on my spirit. Uh, uh, first off, listening to the, uh, after listening uh, to the live show uh, this previous Saturday when the, when the uh, cat shocked you had, uh, had been made the statement that uh, he just might uh, eat a missile or, uh, or uh, be put to death or whatever it may be, man. I'm not saying it verbatim, however he worded it, man. And it, it's really not important, but just the fact that statement is is something that, that that's being on the norm amongst Israel right now. You got a lot of niggas who just copping out, man. Who just saying fuck it? Oh yeah, okay, maybe I will be a two third. I I eat a missile. Showing that they have no faith or fear of the Heavenly Father, man. Like, it's going to be a light thing, man. Real soon, when the Most High bring his judgment, man, on you niggas, man, it's going to be an instant regret, but it's going to be too late, man. Because y'all making this statement like it's going to be something light. Like, the Most High is going to take you out quick and painless. No, man. The Most High is a terrible power, and it's a reason for that, man. So you see, the, see the, the, the fear of the Lord it, it, it has, has dwindled down throughout time because the judgment of the Heavenly Father ain't been going out uh, 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 and, and people know, uh, be recognizing it was judgment from the Heavenly Father, man. So now you got people giving credit to all these different things, uh, such as karma and Mother Nature and shit like that, man. But the Most High is about to make it known, and he's letting it be. Uh, he's, that's why another reason he set up his prophets, man. Just to say that real quick. To warn people what's to come, man. Letting people know when all these things start happening, this came from the Heavenly Father, man. That's why he set up uh, the prophets to be watchmen, man. To let you know if it's either you're going to do right and be receive uh, protection during these times to come and salvation at the end if you're part of the elect, or you got a fucked up death coming your way, man. I got a few scriptures I'm going to get through. I ain't got too much time right now. Uh, for my lunch break over with. This is a Second Peter chapter two, and I'm gonna start at one. The point is in verse two. It says, "But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you." And that's what you see in the day, man. A lot of people, a lot of false prophets, and mainly false teachers, man, because a lot of these guys are not prophesying, man. They just focused on on, on, on uh, getting uh, uh, praise amongst men while coming up against the apostles and elders and the men of Great Millstone, man. Whatever was being pushed from Great Millstone, they just want to pop up in opposition, man. Not in focus of edification and truly teaching, man. It's in sincerity and truth. Uh, it says, who pr uh, privily shall bring in damnable, her damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them. And if you don't have faith in, 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 in these scriptures, man, 100% from, from every prophecy, every word in this book, you denying the Heavenly Father, uh, the Heavenly Father's Son, man. You denying Yahweh Shai because he is this book, man. You denying the Holy Spirit, man. It says, bring upon them, bring and bring upon themselves swift destruction, man. And, and, and Shakya is the current one that made that statement out in the open, but that's not the first time I ain't seen Jake say shit like that, man. And I'm thinking about it. The first time I heard somebody say, well, I'll just eat a missile was when I first came into the truth, fucking brand, brand new. Didn't know shit, man. And and I was learning and shit, and I'm just like, damn, you like was getting on this uh, uh, supposed to be a woman, but really a bitch's ass and shit. And, and, and she said, that was the first person I heard was a fucking female say, well, I'll just eat a, I guess I'll eat a missile. And that's coming from a woman. So you men that's saying shit like that, you, you, you in a bitch spirit, man. You in a female spirit, man. Why? Because you feminine. You lack a fit of, uh, lack, and lacking faith, man. And you bringing us up, like the scripture said, you don't understand when you saying shit like that. First of all, your actions already is speaking for itself, man. But the most high is just putting the spirit upon you guys to expose yourself that you're not men of the Lord. You don't trust in the heavenly father. You don't believe in the things to come, man. You think you think that somehow we just going to continue uh, here in Babylon, man. 
you think that you really gonna fucking end up retiring and collecting your 401 in Babylon, uh, 401k in Babylon, man? Let me read on. It says, and many shall bring their pernicious ways, and and that word pernicious when you go into the blue letter means destroying ways or destructive ways, man. Which is gonna leave your spirit in ruins, man. Up until the Most High bring the physical judgment upon you, man. It says, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be even uh, evil spoken of, man. And I'm going uh, to jump over to the end of this chapter, man. When brothers, good chance. It's a good chapter to go in to uh, read the uh, second chapter of Second Peter. Uh, I'm going to jump over to verse 21, man, just to hit home uh, uh, of of uh, of the uh, of what's going uh, coming to you people, man, that, that lack faith of the Heavenly Father and got the gumption or the nerve to say, I'll just eat a missile. Or I'll, I'll die in America, whatever the fuck the case may be. When you're not realizing, the Most High not going to let you off that easy, man. This is uh, 2 Peter 2 and 21. It says, for it had uh, had been better for them, them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them, man. Just like you read in uh, uh, Luke chapter 9, man. Once you put your hand on this plow and you take it off, man, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven, man. So as the scripture is letting you know right here in 2 Peter 2 and 21, it's saying it'd been better for them if you had not known the way of righteousness, man. And just been a nigga you could come all the way, man. Versus somebody who then came in, uh, uh, heard the word, went out on the highways and byways, made a vow, professed to do this work, and then you turn your back on the Heavenly Father, the Most High is not going to take that lightly. His Son is not going to take it lightly, man. And when the time come, when you're in that state of instant regret, it ain't gonna, it's going to be too late. The Most High didn't already put the hit out on you by uh, 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 either Yahweh Shah himself, one of the uh, angels, one of the men of the Lord gifted with uh, 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 spiritual powers, man. A fucking uh, Amazonian uh, pack of Amazonian black ants, whatever hold the hell you may see, y'all don't understand, man. I could sit here all day trying to think of the most craziest, imaginable shit possible, of how the most I can put a nigga to death, man. Key word, a nigga, man. Not a man of the Lord, but a nigga, man. But the Most High, he's the creator, creator of all things. So no matter how much us uh, we we sit back and talk about how Jake gonna be destroyed, the Most High got many different ways, man. Many different ways he's gonna put you niggas to death, man. Got a couple more scriptures I'm gonna get into real quick. This is a uh, book of Psalms, chapter 42 and Salakia 47. And we'll get right to the point in verse 2, 47, Psalm 47 and 2. It says, For the Lord, might of most high, is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth, man. So why would they say the most high is terrible, man? When you go into that word in a blue letter, it, it, it gives you definitions like to be feared, dreadful, man. It, say, it also says a godly fear, man. It says terrified, man. So what, what, what is the, what, we, we just go through the history, man. You go through some of the acts that the Most High done, done, man. Some of the ways he didn't did, 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 did destroy men on this earth. That's a terrifying thing, man. But people didn't forgot that because they don't, they don't, in, in the Harlot House, Christianity, they don't teach you about the, uh, the other side of the Most High. They just saw us all love. No, the Most High is perfectly balanced, man. And real soon he's gonna show you his other side, man. He's showing you, but now he's gonna make he's gonna take credit for the things that he's bringing to this earth, man. And mainly to you niggas that turned the uh, turn your back on you, how shy, man. Who took the Lord's debt in, in, in vain, man? Like it was something, it wasn't something that big, man. And I was just earlier uh, uh, listening uh, uh, to uh, Pastor Gabor when they was on the block was speaking on uh really kind of breaking down and going into the time frame real quick of uh uh of of basically if you've been in uh doing the work for 20 years man you ain't been in this thing man you ain't really done nothing man you've been doing the work for maybe 30 minutes man in the eyes of the most high so you th you think you niggas want think they doing something special man Niggas talking about been in, I, I was doing the work for two, three years, and then you back in the world running, doing, being just a, a Hebrew. You ain't even calling yourself an Israelite. Whatever you niggas are doing, man. One way or the other, you turned your uh, back on your house with Shai and, and went back into the world, man. 
No matter if you still got your beard, you pulling up, oh yeah, this one I was on the block. Man, you's a fucking nigga and you always have been, man. And the Most High is going to destroy you, man. He's going to show you why he's a terrible power, man. Because we coming up in the times of Jacob's trouble, man. And the two-thirds, man. And you niggas that fell out, you you you, you the, the main part of the two-thirds, man. Because a nigga that just been a nigga breaking the commandments and, and really had no knowledge of the Heavenly Father, shit, he, he'll get a lighter judgment than you, man. I'm kind of fired up right now, man. I was just, like, pissed off, like, the whole time I've been at work thinking about the fucking negligence of Jake, man. The lack of respect for the Heavenly Father, like, he's somebody to play with, man. This is Amos chapter uh, 5, and I'm going to start at 18. It says, woe, meaning death and destruction, unto you to desire the day of the Lord, man, because that's what you niggas claiming. You niggas claiming that you're ready for the Lord to return. You, you talking about the, you ready for the kingdom of heaven, man. You ready to rule. All you, uh, 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 on the, one of the brothers on the, uh, I think on the GMS Born, uh, Born Again page had just did a video, man. Going into this, uh, with some more cats making a rap video, but promoting all this gunplay and pulling out, uh, um, um, goddamn, uh, assault rifles and shit on a rap video. Man, hey, the most I got something for y'all, man. Cause y'all think acting like we just gonna come on some revolt and take down the kingdom on our own, man. No fear and faith or trust in the Heavenly Father to deliver you, man. Uh, reading on, it says, To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As a man, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, man. So all y'all that sit there and make a statement like, Oh, I'll just eat a missile, or maybe I will get put to death. It's not going to be a light thing, man. Can you imagine you you in, uh, you in running from a bear? In other words, man, you, you, you running from one stage or one of these uh, pestilence, and no matter what, something else is waiting on you depending on however long the most high got you set to be uh, 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 destroyed, man. Until you be destroyed, man. So you might get away through one stage and surviving, but no matter what, when Jacob's trouble hitting his martial law, it ain't going to be no good times, man. If you make it up into the missiles, that you may you you've been getting tortured and fucked up the whole time, man. It says, "Shall not the day of the Lord, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, even very dark." Emphasis on that, even very dark, man. And not bright, and no brightness in it, man. Ain't gonna be no little no no little spot little spotlight where you get a little break, man. It's going to be constant hell because things are going to be moving at a rapid pace, man. Because when everything get kicked off, it's not going to last for no months and shit, man. The most high is going to unleash all out of hell and, 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 and madness in the streets, man. And it's going to be moving a lot fast, man, real fast, man. I don't know exactly the time frame and, and, and shit like that. I'm not saying that. But it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be horrific times, man. Uh, I got one more scripture, man. Got to get back in here. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. Just marinate on that, man. Marinate on that, man. Hey, may the mo most high torment you niggas in your sleep, man. Giving you glimpses of visions of your ass being fucking destroyed, man. I'm going to read that one more time, man, and end it on that. This is Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to, ha to fall in the hands of the living power. So y'all keep making your faithless statements about I'll just eat a missile, or maybe the Lord will destroy me, or maybe I won't make it. And guess what? The Most High is going to show you how, how, how heavy of a statement you made by a heavy destruction, man. And to, to the faithful men out there, just keep pushing, man, and, and trusting in the Heavenly Father. And Lord willing, we be part of the elect, and we get a first first class uh, 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 VIP seat ticket uh, uh, seat on a on a chariot, man, to watch this place be destroyed, man. And we can we we can we can we can uh, watch our, can, uh, our our home be rebuilt and and, and, and get the and, and dwell in our kingdom forever, man.
Hey, with that, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to the elect, uh, the hopeful elect, Shalom.